What's up guys? So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to enter the service menu and the break section of that menu. Now there's three things that we typically use in that menu. This does exist on the older platforms. Um, the first one is the brake stiffness test. So that's gonna show you exactly how much pressure you're getting out of your pedal. The second one is your brake bleeding procedure. So that's nice because it will actually do the pumping for you and it'll ob open the ABS pump up for you as well. So you can make sure that you are flushing all the fluid through there. The third one is gonna be the brake burnishing procedure, the brake pad burnishing procedure. So that's pretty neat. We're not gonna be doing that today, um, but that does exist if you guys do want to use it. I will not be sharing with you how to do that, but it exists in the menu and it's relatively self-explanatory. Now, keep in mind that the Highland Model 3s do not have the brake flushing option in their menu. So you still have all of the other ones, but you do not have that one. So for brake flush, in our experience, we've needed one and a half liters of fluid. Each of these is a half a liter. So we've got three bottles of Motul brake fluid that we'll be using for this vehicle. So we're gonna put these on. We're gonna put some upgraded brake fluid in the vehicle. And uh, if you guys need any of these products, just check out the description and the link below. So a couple things I wanna to touch upon. For one, you don't need to use a vacuum bleeder like we do. We just do that because that's what we're used to doing. You can just use a tube and a bottle if you want. Uh, the other thing is you can do it as a single person. You don't have to do two people, but it's a little bit complicated because you gotta go in, make sure you open the bleeder valve, then jump in the car, start the uh, operation in the car, then you know come back out here, you'll have to close it, then go to the other side, open that bleeder valve, go back in the car, rinse and repeat. Now, another thing I wanna share with you guys is that According to Tesla service manual, they bleed in a very different um, order than what we conventionally did before. So they actually start on the closest side to the brake master cylinder. So in this case, it'll start on the driver front, then go passenger front, then go driver rear, and then go passenger rear. To make things even more confusing, the service menu, when you select your operations, and you'll see it because we'll probably talk about it, it only does it in an X formation. So you're gonna basically go in here and you're gonna choose your driver front and then you'll choose your passenger front and then you'll choose your driver rear and then you'll choose your passenger rear in that menu, but you'll see that in the videos. We hope this is informative for you guys. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. If you found this informative, just check out our Patreon account, patreon.com forward slash Zeph Centric. We have one membership, it's five bucks a month just to help show your gratitude for all that we do for you and share with you. 
But thanks again, guys. We love you. We'll see you on the next one.